All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a big, massive, super duper big update regarding the RTX 50 series of graphics cards. Three articles covering pretty much the same thing just to confirm what I wanted to say. I just love charts. I really love charts because the reason I love charts is because the brain in my face, or yeah, my the brain in my face, because that is where the brain is located, is just incapable of understanding this. According to rumors, the RTX 5090 will feature the GB202 Blackwell GPU with an unconfirmed configuration. I literally don't even remember what I just read. And I'm actually being serious right now. I literally don't even remember what I just read because I'm stupid. Okay, so let's go ahead and quickly go over the RTX 5090 FE Founders Edition. I don't know why I said FE. And then compare it to the RTX 4090 Founders Edition. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leak this right now. I'm gonna literally gonna leak this. Are you ready for this? Watch this. I'm gonna leak it. This is what the 5090 is gonna look like right there. That's what it's gonna look like. Those of you that are unaware of this, leaks are the same thing as a guess. Real quick, just wanted to say that if you would like a PC from me, my Facebook business page is linked down in the description below. I do not charge you anything other than the cost of parts, which I do in fact give you a full list of everything with the final cost before I order it all with my own money. You do not pay me anything until you see the video, the performance, the benchmarks, and all of that kind of stuff. So again, link down in the description below. Is this less ADHD? Is this more enjoyable? Having absolutely nothing in the background? I really, I really hate myself for not mentioning this at the beginning of the video because it's literally up there for a troll. I literally put it there for, for a reason, to troll the people that keep leaving. This freaking guy, he's always getting off track. Oh, he's so ADHD. Chung actually posted on July 9th, 2024. The official label cannot be used. The 47Ti is only 2.61 gigahertz. The 7600 XT is only 2.7 gigahertz. The 7800 XT X is 2.4, whatever, 2.5. The base frequency of the 5090 is almost 2.9. The 5090 is going to be boost. So anyways, now I, okay. It always comes back to me. Your boy's brain is not functioning properly. So it did come back to me. The reason I'm saying the, the money, dude, the MSRP, I, I genuinely still feel like the 4090 is, is worth, even if the 4090 was too great, which it is because it's literally all we can get it for. You know it, I know it. Nobody, there ain't nobody on the planet getting a 4090 for 1600 bucks. Still to this day, three years later. I really wish, I can't wait for the, oh my goodness. I can't wait till the day I can put Elon Musk's chip thing in my head and fix me. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so sick. So anyways, the 2000 bucks, okay. Uh, so the reason I was saying that dude is because look, it's not a gaming graphics card and yes I'm fully aware that it's good for gaming and I'm not saying it's not good for gaming But dude listen the 4080 is more than capable of playing games at maximum setting your boys cameras keep overheating I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my fan up in here Come on fan cool that camera down so what happens when I, I, I learn I hate myself for not remember I have to turn that on um I'm very very excited for the 50 series of graphics card because like I've said quite a few times dude I'm just as a creator that has four different channels it's like the 4090 is already insane like there, like if I make like, let's say I record this video and, and it's whatever, let's say I actually didn't edit anything down. It would be 30 minutes long. So I could toss this 30 minute video because I'm an idiot and I don't know how, I don't know when to shut up. I can render this video out in probably 10 to 15 minutes at 4k. And so with like, if I come to this article, whoops, if I come to this article right here, and uh so even if it's this like most people are saying so this is just the memory right so we're looking at a 30 to 70 percent increase in performance with the rtx 50 series and there's no way that this is going to be uh whatever there's no way that this is going to be uh a gaming increase so the way i'm seeing this is 
And I know I keep swapping to the scene and I keep forgetting that I don't want to swap to this scene because I, I'm being serious. That was literally put there to troll the freaking idiot saying my videos are too ADHD. And I know this is, I'm guessing this is like not enjoyable to look at. Are you enjoying looking at my face right now? I know you're not. So anyways, there, <laughs> there's no way we're getting that increase in gaming, dude, because the 4090 is already insane when it comes down to gaming. And there are people that I've seen in the comments talking about VR, and I'm not going to like argue with those people because I've only used the Oculus Quest. I've not used the HTC Vive or whatever the other one, the, the more premium VR headsets. I've only used the Oculus headsets. So for the people that are like whatever, using a VR racing simulator, I can't confirm whether or not that you need a 4090 or more than a 4090 or two 4090s for that because I've not done that. But as far as I'm concerned with the Oculus Quest and the games that I have played on the Oculus Quest, everything ran perfectly fine for me. And my friend has a 4080. So it's like, I would kind of think that if, if a 4080 is more than capable of playing the Oculus Quest and the game, I don't remember, it's been a long time, uh, but we played Call of Duty and we played Forza Horizon 5, we played uh, Assetto Corsera or Assetto Corsa or whatever the racing car game there is. And um, then I played, uh, <laughs> I played, there's, there's a, there's a, um, it's actually super freaking awesome for those of you. So for those of you that are, I'm, I'm really big in the emulation scene. I really like collecting the little like emulation handhelds and all this kind of stuff. Um, there's a, there's a emulation like application for VR where you can literally, dude, it's such a nostalgia trip. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a clip of it right up here. Actually, that's a good thing. Oh my goodness. Thumbnail heaven. Mr. B style thumbnail. Actually, he kind of smiling now. Um, but damn, that actually is a good idea. <laughs> make easy thumbnails but um man dude I, I hate that i really i really do hate my brain i forget what i was saying i'm gonna go ahead and end the video it's longer than it needed to be anyways i don't remember where i was going and i really gotta take a week right now so i'm gonna end the video i'll get you guys the next one peace